We are the global headquarters for 3D printing here in Benton Harbor. We do have machines placed around the globe, but any request that comes in for a 3D printed part comes to us. And then we distribute that work globally. Rapid prototyping is a big part of what we do for Whirlpool. We bring designers' ideas to life so that they can actually have a part in their hand for fit and function. 85% of everything we do is 3D printed. We use multiple 3D printing technologies. We have FDM, we have SL, and we have the new Origin photopolymer machines. We're looking for a marketing piece. We want a good finish on that. We'll use SL process. If it's more of a fit and function kind of part, then we may use the FDM. The big draw for the P3 machine for us was the high temp material. We have customers that needed some plastic parts that had uh, very high heat retention. So uh, that was a big draw for us. It's really dependent on what that part's going to be used for. That's the great thing about having multiple processes. This is a typical FDM part for us at Whirlpool. This was actually printed on the 770. It has small features that were captured very nicely. I was able to fit two of these in one build. Uh, at Whirlpool, we print a lot of housings and a lot of big parts. The nice thing, uh, the large bed, we can fit those without cutting and gluing. You can put a, a big part in a big machine, but you can't put it in a small machine. It's a, it's a great benefit. For us, 3D printing is, is cheap insurance that the tool is going to cast what we want it to cast. If we do purchase a tool and we get into production and all of a sudden it's not performing the way we want, now we have to pull the tool out of production. So if we can catch all that in this prototype stage, it saves us a ton on the back end. For our SL printers, we have the Neo 450S. If we didn't have SL technology, you would have to end up paying for the tooling and get it, you know, injection pressed, which takes a lot more time, a lot more money. The Neo 450 we are using Somos Evolve. We use Evolve because it has the certain properties we're looking for in an SL part. Uh, the parts are a little bit more impact resistant, they're a little bit more durable. We do a lot of thin wall parts or we do clips on these parts, so we need to be able to assemble everything together and the parts not break during assembly. So here's a couple of the examples that of the parts that just came off the Neo. Good surface detail off the bat. All we have to do is take them right out of the Neo, throw them into a citrus cleaner for 20 minutes, pull them back out, pull supports off, give them a final alcohol wipe down. With the Stratasys Neo 450, we use magics with the E-Stage parameter set. Stratasys sets the parameters for us for the Neo, and it's a lot easier to remove parts, a lot quicker, takes less time, less manpower. We can get on to doing more parts. We have other shops globally that are looking at SL process, and we're gonna highly recommend the 450S machine to them. One of the distinguishing features that sold us on the Origin One is the vast amount of materials that you can use in one 3D printer and how quickly and efficiently you can change them out. The Origin One, it's way quicker, easier, couple minute turnaround, very simple. We're always trying to ideate faster and get to market faster. So we found the Origin uh, and this type of technology as a way where we can submit a part today, come back tomorrow and have a functional prototype in hand. A big problem that um, Origin One helped us solve is the uh, elastomers and high temp. The engineers wanted something with a little bit more spring back to it. We're really excited about the high heat deflection temperature. We can use this in products where we have hot streams of air, we have other energies in the product and we need that type of heat deflection. Also, I've seen reports where it can be approved with UL94 which is a requirement for us from product safety. There's a couple things about the P3 process that stood out. The amount of detail you can get. We've seen some of the samples that were almost injection mold quality. The other is getting materials that are the same materials or very close to materials we would actually have in an end use product. With all the materials out there, it allows us to be able to pick and choose what we need for which parts we need. It uh, gives us a vast functionality on what we can do with it. For us at Whirlpool, I can't imagine not having 3D printing. We've been using Stratasys machines for over 20 years. Uh, actually, we have uh, some machines in the shop that are 20 years old and still running, run them daily. I'm definitely a fan of Stratasys. When I start a, a print for the day, I know in the morning uh, I'm going to have success. Uh, very reliable, dependable equipment.